Harrison Bryant, former fourth round pick out of Florida Atlantic. This is uh, a player, 6'5, 243. And I want to talk for a second about Harrison Bryant. David Njoku did suffer a high ankle sprain in week seven. He's expected to miss two to five weeks. Now, one of those weeks is going to be the bye week. So we will see in two weeks, but you're going to need a replacement for David Njoku. And I think Harrison Bryant is that plug and play type of tight end. The former fourth round pick already has a 10% target share on the season. So he's already getting targets in this offense even with David and Joku's breakout happening right in front of our eyes in the career games where Harrison Bryant has 60% or more of the snaps. He's been on average, the tight end 23. So fine. He's been like a back end tight end too, but he did have the tight end one overall finish. One of the weeks back in 2020, his rookie season, he caught two touchdowns. He had like four catches. Uh, this was against Cincinnati, I believe. So it is within his range of outcomes that we have seen a top 10 performance. In fact, a top number one overall performance for Harrison Bryant. And with the opportunity and target shares that we've seen from this Cleveland Browns offense, Harrison Bryant's very interesting. We know that when Jacoby Brissett was the quarterback in Indianapolis, the Colts had one of the highest tight end target shares in the entire league. That's why Jack Doyle was a top 10 tight end. So if you need a plug and play extremely cheap tight end Harrison Bryant, you could probably get him for a heck, not even 5% of your fab. He is mostly not rostered in almost any leagues um, except maybe in dynasty leagues, you know, but even so I've been waiting for this moment. I have so many shares of Harrison Bryant in dynasty. It's just that he's been stuck behind Austin Hooper and David and Joku. And finally, this is the Harrison Bryant moment. So, yes, I am in on Harrison Bryant as a plug-and-play for Week 8. Well, David Njoku is out nursing that, uh, that ankle injury.